in a move that has nothing to do with who will be the next coach of the Miami Dolphins or a response to the latest report or rumor from the glorious insiders of the NFL, the Dolphins signed Canadian Football League return specialist Devontae Dedman. If you can remember back to the Miami Dolphins 2021 season, which right now seems like a distant memory, the Dolphins were atrocious at returning punts. It didn't matter if it was Jalen Waddell, Javon Holland, or Jakeem Grant when he was still here. The Dolphins rank 30th in average yards per punt return. If you're wondering where the Dolphins rank on kick returns, a play that I feel doesn't happen much anymore, the Dolphins ranked 31st in kick return average. The former Ottawa Red Black, Devontae Dedman led the CFL in punt return average with 15.4 yards a return, kick return average with 25 yards a kick return, and touchdowns with three. Essentially, Dedman was the triple crown winner for return guys in all of Canada. These are numbers that the Dolphins should be intrigued with giving Dedman the first crack at the job. A team like the Dolphins, who have a hard time generating scoring points and because of that struggling offense need short fields to put points on the board, can really use a guy whose only job is to return punts and kicks. Devontae Dedman, a name that's just a fun name to say, can fill that void. Plus, this would mean that Jalen Waddell and Javon Holland, two bona fide studs, don't have to worry about that part of the game. Thus, this will lead to all of us not white knuckling it and letting us breathe on punt returns. Who among us hasn't nearly gone into shock seeing Waddle back there returning a punt watching almost get crushed? I don't want my stars returning punts or taking back kicks like how Preston Williams got injured his rookie year and hasn't been the same since. I want a guy like Devontae Dedman, this name rocks to say, whose only task is field and run back punts and kicks. And who knows, maybe Dedman will find his way onto the field as a receiver. Miami always has an issue keeping wide receivers healthy so it wouldn't surprise me at all to see Dedman being our number one receiver by week three. Let's not also sweep under the rug that the Dolphins have an eye for candy and talent. Lest we forget how the Dolphins discovered Cameron Wake, Sam Egavoen, remember that four-sack preseason game from its past year, and notice that Ricky Williams was getting back into the swing of things and brought him back after his stint with the Argonauts. So, Miami has some experience in finding diamonds in the rough in the northern part of North America. What I can't wait for is when Devontae Dedman isn't even on the team come August 20th. That'll be fun. It'll be real fun when Miami trots out Noah Igbenogany to take back kicks and we all say, oh what is this, in disgust. Good times.